Hey guys, Fishmonger here. It is June 1st, 2018. Believe it or not, in a couple weeks we'll be closer to 2019 than we are the beginning of 2018. It's amazing. This year is going by quick. This year in crypto is going by quick, and it's a very interesting year in crypto. In fact, I guarantee you, come 2019, it's going to be a whole new landscape with what's going on. Personally, I have no freaking clue how it's going to go, but... Part of me says there's going to be a lot of cheaper ASICs rolling around. A lot of other coins are going to be forked. Um, probably a couple of coins are going to be shut down. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more scams that come up in six months. So it's going to be uh, definitely interesting, to say the least, as far as what goes on. In any event, uh, NiceHash right now actually has me at $26.23 uh, profitability. Not 100% accurate because for whatever reason it's reporting my Equihash at 5542 I'm actually closer to 4,600 on my one rig that I'm running, and Dagger Hash has me at 101, and I'm really closer to like 118. So it's not quite $26. I should be earning about 0 0.0021 Bitcoin per day. However, I'm not going to complain. On average, it's still pretty good profitability concerning the amount of money I've got invested into my rigs. Speaking of rigs, I've been doing the final touches on my Bahama Mama, uh, which you can see in front of you here. I'll get myself out of the screen real quick. Uh, right now on the front of this, it's just a mix of the super clocked 1060s along with some regular 1060s. Um, all the way on the right is a uh, Zotac 1070 Ti and on the left is an Aces 1070. You can see I added some heat sinks to one of my server power supplies. And then I also added a, a fan over here. So this fan here is blowing this direction to help uh, air circulate in through the power supply. And then basically the uh, fan here is exiting out this way. Here you can see the setup of some of the fans I have on the top. Uh, these fans are all blowing up. Uh, basically they're taking the heat from the cards and they're moving them away from the cards. So this is eight 120 millimeter fans. Um, they're all wired directly right up to the uh, power supply, uh, you know, at 12 volts. And uh, they're not fastened in place right now. They're just kind of resting in place. And you can see some of the new wood I put in here is not painted. I don't have my top on yet, but you know, for the most part, the rig itself is fairly close to being done. I'm pretty happy with the way it's come out. I'm gonna do the final touches on some of these cables, probably make some nice color coordinated cables if I can find the time. You can see here I zip tied uh, my SSD um, on the outside of it because I, I, I wanted it just to not be away from all the heat over here. I want it to be kind of on the outside here, but uh, the rig itself is coming along pretty nice. So I was checking out uh, one of Brandon Coin's latest videos, and he did a little summary uh, on the Zotac GeForce GTX 1070 Ti Mini. Um, it just so happens I have this same exact card, um, and I wanted to chime in on this because when I first got this thing, I got it on eBay. It was one of the times, if you remember in the, a while ago, they had those codes like, P springtime 20 or whatever where you get like 20 percent off all your purchases or whatever i ended up buying this card for it was like 400 and something bucks used um back in the day it was a good price because gpu prices were like astronomical um and the fact that i had the coupon to go along with it like really helped kind of like uh bring it into more reasonable uh price range but i i wasn't sure what to think of this card when i got it and i'm glad that i bought it because um, I gotta say, I was impressed with the build of this 1070 Ti. I'm impressed with the cooling of it. Um, and it just so happens it was, it's like one of the, well actually it's the only 1070 Ti that would actually fit inside my computer case itself. Right now it's in the mining rig, but um, you know, I, I every once in a while will take cards out of the mining rig, put them in my actual computer if they fit, because I have a, uh, a mini um, ITX case. And this is one of the cards that actually does fit in my computer. This is the card itself. It's actually, this is the view of it mounted into uh, the mining rig. You can see I've got one of my uh, custom uh, power supply cables running into it right now. Uh, the nice thing about this card, it, you know, it's got that LED lighting on the Zotac. Um, it's cool. I mean, if you, if you want a dark room, it's not for you. But it's not like it's super, super bright, but it adds a little bit of flair. I'm looking at it right now. This picture does not do it justice. Hold on. Do I have a better picture? I mean, this is the other picture I got. 
Doesn't really do it justice either. It's a little bit blurry, but you can see how much it stands out. You know, the Zotac, the nice bright uh, light. And the lines on the card are sharp. The shroud on the card is sharp. It's well constructed. It's a good duty card. Um, compared to like the Gigabytes I got, the Gigabyte cards, I never really liked them. They always seem kind of like a flimsy, cheap plastic. Um, this Zotac, very well put together. This is actually the inside of the computer that I'm running right now. It's a, uh, uh, where's my, I don't have my case, crap. Uh, oh, it's an ASRock 880 GMLE motherboard. Uh, it's got like 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'm running an Ap uh, Athlon AMD FX 8370E, I think, processor right now. This is a tiny, tiny case and a tiny motherboard. Uh, this is a GTX 1050 super clocked card in here right now. The 1070 uh, Ti, the one from Zotac, barely fits in here, but it does fit. It's like the only 1070 Ti that will fit uh, in my computer. And I had it in there for a while. I was running uh, Doom and a couple other games. I was getting like 180 FPS in Doom. It was incredible. I absolutely loved it. Um, but alas, it's more of a mining card for me, so I did move it out to the mining rig. Um, but I gotta say that it's a, it was a, it was a nice thing to have a really good card inside my computer for a short period of time. This is the, uh, the box it came in. Um, people, if you're into boxes, then you might appreciate this. It's a cool box. Um, and actually it, it's, you know, goes beyond the box. The packaging is well, there's a nice box inside the box. So it's like boxception, you know, that kind of thing going on. Um, and that was a really nice quality kind of box there. And then the foam inside the box that was inside the box is really nice quality foam too they got a nice little cutout and everything like that yeah i know i i, I don't I, I i wish i could just bring the card up and like kind of show it to you or whatever but it's in the mining rig right now and i'm not gonna like pull it out just for a video so just take my word on it it's a very well constructed card it's sturdy it's heavy duty and the cooler that's on it and the heat sinks and everything that are on it are really good just for reference okay uh, I just want to show you right now, ambient in my bedroom is 88 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a little on the warm side. I'm not one that runs air conditioners. I don't like air conditioners. I don't mind the heat. Not at all. It does not bother me. Um, so I have some numbers to show you later from some testing. But for reference point, do realize it's like 90 degrees in my room with my mining rig. So if my numbers are running hot, it's likely not going to be as hot for you if uh, you're running your rig in a room that's not 88 degrees. So this is the uh, the Bahama Mama rig right now that I'm running, and this is on my P250 Mining Expert motherboard. Um, the slot number two, which is right here, is actually that 1070 Ti. And yes, I have all my fans at 100% right now because I wanted to get some kind of like good baseline for everything. Um, and also it's, you know, kind of hot today in my room and everything. So I wanted to kind of keep things kind of cool. Let's refresh this. I don't think this is going to change too much. And it didn't really. So you can see the 1070 Ti, this one here, which is the Zotac, is running at 62 degrees. And I'm mining Equihash. It's 125 watts. And I've got my core at 150 um, I've added 150 to the core. I got a thousand on the memory. The fans at 100%, and the power level is at 130 watts. So this 1070 Ti, the Zotac, is running at 62 degrees. Um, my other 1070 Ti is running at 66 degrees, and then the other 1070 Di Ti I got is actually running at 50 degrees. However, this 50 degree card is my one of my gigabytes that has a broken fan on it. So I had to jerry-rig a 120 millimeter fan onto the top of that card. And it's also directly in front of my window because I know that that card runs hot. And if I don't do crazy stuff to help keep it cool, um, it doesn't want to stay cool. This card number two, the 1070 Ti, this Zotac card is on the inside of the rig. So it's not facing the window. And it is just getting airflow from the fans itself that are on it. And then the one fan that's on top of it that's blowing the heat away. So it running at 62 degrees C in a room that's about 90 degrees Fahrenheit 
um, really isn't that bad. The, the cooler on it is pretty dang good. I got to say, I'm pretty impressed with it. You can actually see this is a, uh, well, let me move this over. There you go. This is a live stream, uh, if you want to call it that, of uh, the mining rig itself. GPU number two right here, which I can't highlight. Oh, I guess I can. Yeah. Oh, this is not easy. All right, whatever. GPU number two right here. You can see it's still running 62 degrees. It is averaging 488 solutions per second. That is at the 125 watts. So it's getting about 3.82 solutions per watt. Uh, for an efficiency, which is which is pretty good. Um, it's close to four. You know, anything around four is a pretty efficient card, as far as I'm concerned, with what I've seen before for for cards running uh, Equihash. Now, I did some testing on this card. And I tried to go into a, a little bit more depth here. So you can see card number two, which is the Zotac 1070 Ti. Um, when I did my testing earlier, I did my testing at 75% fan speed, and I checked a couple different algorithms. Um, basically, I ran Equihash. Um, at 130 watts with 150 core and 1,000 memory, the card was running up to 71 degrees C. Um, I was getting 49 solutions and uh, 3.76 solutions per watt uh, with the DSTM miner. That was version 6.0. And again, I'm running on uh, Hive OS. Um, I did also do some testing on Lyra 2 because it seems like the 1070 Ti cards, at least on NiceHash, are pretty efficient, running really well with uh, Lyra 2. I don't know too much about that algorithm not gonna lie nor do I know too much about the miners for that so when I set it up I ran it at 130 watts 125 cores zero on the memory and I was getting 37.4 mega hash per second that's really low compared to I think the 50 something that nice hash said I should have got however NiceHash also throws some weird numbers out sometimes at their profitability calculators. So I don't know how accurate that is. Um, but this is what I was getting. CC Miner with the TPRU VOT or Tuprot, whatever you want to call it. Um, fork of that, 37.4 uh, mega hash. Um, Dagger Hashimoto, I was doing negative 25 on the core. I had 1,000 on the memory. And the card was running cooler at 66. I was getting a nice 30.57 mega hash per second, uh, which is probably online. I think everybody's 1070s and 1070 Ti's. It's kind of where you max out or where you're going to get for uh, dagger hash. And then Kryptonite V7, I was running some Monero, uh, 130 watts. I did 75 on the core, 1,000 on the memory. Much cooler, 63 degrees Celsius, which is nice in the summertime. And I was getting 719 uh, mega hash per second. That was running XMR stack. As always, do keep in mind, your mileage may vary, um, and I did not go crazy trying to tweak every little last ounce and bit of power out of this. This is just what I got with some quick numbers, and I'm comfortable with the fact that it would run steady and not crash uh, at these settings. Let me do a quick refresh on nice hash here and see what comes up. Hopefully, it still holds well as far as the profitability goes. Uh, over the last seven days, I've got an average of 0.0024 Bitcoin per day, so really not too shabby. Um, you know, my, my, my rig and my cards are more than halfway paid off at this point, which is always good. So at this point, I'm kind of like seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, which is something that everybody always wants to see when you've got a large investment in something. Um, so hopefully the uh, payments stay up uh, and everything stays good because I'd like to keep going with this as much as I can. Um, I'll do some other videos uh, later on to kind of showcase uh, more detail on some of my other video cards. Again, this right now, this is for that Zotac 1070 Ti. Um, but I'll love to, if I can get, you know, more detailed information on my 1060s and the other 1070s I got, even the other 1070 Ti's, um, if I can find the time for the testing, I will certainly do that. Time is something I don't have a lot of right now, um, but I will try to see what I can do uh, for you guys because I know it's always helpful to know what a card can do before you can buy it. So anyway, until the next time, this is Fishmonger. I'm signing out. As always, I'll catch you on the flip side.